All right, well, today we're fishing some big stuff in the back in, you know, three to five feet of water. Uh, we are targeting, we're targeting these guys. Uh, these are speckled trout. This is kind of light tackle fishing at its finest. Um, so we haven't done this in a little while. Uh, let's see how we can put together our catch for the day. So it should be a good one. Really didn't throw um, hard baits for too much, too much for weak fish back in the day. But this storm kicking minnow was one of my favorites for them. I see some bait here. Hmm. Plastic. Let's try the plastic. Plastic. I'll put all the goofy stuff away. Went to the big paddle too. Well, that's what I know best, right? Know how to use big stuff. Can't fish this little stuff. It's just not for live sea fishing. Big, big paddle tells what I know. Fish here. First trout's a, it's a decent one. Probably 19 inch or 20 inch. I'm gonna put the first one back for, for good mojo. A couple fish on side scan there. What? Dropped it on his head. This one's probably a blue fish, huh? Two for two on keepers, huh? When you work these big paddle tails, there's two ways to work them. One is skip and bottom, the other is straight retrieve. Small fish. What? That's gotta be a red, right? <laughs> what? Ooh, look at that one. It's a good thing I brought some pretty, uh... I don't know, what do we think here? Release the first one for good, good omen. Well, let's put a couple in the cooler first. All right. So what I want to do with these, actually, uh, I've heard smoke specs are pretty good. And uh, these are decent sized fish, you know, 18, 19. So put two keepers back. Let's keep one. I think we're going to keep a limit today. I'm not fishing for a little while. I'm going to have a busy week of stuff I'm doing. All right, so that fish was kind of deep, actually. I think I uh, probably plucked him out of seven feet of water. This is one of my peanut shads. These are five inch baits. Uh, I've got some other stuff that I actually dug up. This was one of my old favorite weak fish plugs. I should throw it a couple times. It's the storm kicking stick. When we used to have weak fish bite, uh, gray trout, to my southern guys listening, we used to have a gray trout bite in this sort of backwater. I'm talking like 2009. And we used to catch some eight to 10 pound trout in the back on the spring. Uh, this was a great plug for them. So I think it's a five inch or six inch one. Um, I like big plastics, man, uh, for, for any trout species. Situation here is you want to really get through the smaller fish, try to grab bigger fish's attention. And we're on three keepers already. I don't know if that's just a, a sign of uh, how good the fishing is going to be this year or just this strategy pays off, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I brought the cooler today. So I got myself a new cooler, guys. Um, this is the Sportnir uh, 25 quart cooler. If you want a high performance cooler that does not rhyme with the word jetty, right? So that's like a 19 inch trout. Um, it's got two cup holders on it. This cooler will hold ice for days. Like three, four days, not a problem this weather. I'll have ice for a really long time. It's pretty convenient for me because uh, when I do those trout and sheep's head trips, I don't need that big giant bag. And that big giant bag doesn't hold ice that well in my opinion. It's okay, 
but it really doesn't hold ice all that well. That ice you just saw there is on day two, um, and I didn't lose anything, so that's awesome. That's good. Let's see if that's gonna drive them nuts. Put a couple drops of Pro Cure on here. Midday, bright sun, you know. Might not be fighting too well right now. Got him. It's gotta be a red, right? What do you guys think? Holy crap, that was a hit. That's a trout, he's a good one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ew. Well, well, well. That's a pretty good uh, back bay flounder. 18, 19. Season's closed, so he does not join the collection. That's okay. We're actually having a hard time finding some specks now. Seems like I got a couple flounder to bite. Specks are not in the mix, really. Got him. That's a nice trout. It's like the move into the intracoastal. That's how we do it. That's the one hand net job because you tangle yourself up pretty good. You know what, let me deal with this later. Thanks for another decent fish. That's another nice trap. We got hooked this one, so we're gonna keep him. But nice, probably not a 19. All right, let's try to catch, catch our last couple fish. We did the full Wrightsville Beach exploration trip. So this fish was laid up between that point and a sandbar right here, probably in two and a half feet of water. Third one, fourth one. Numero cuatro. Also the smallest one of the day. But we ain't gonna get greedy. All right, allow me to recap very briefly. Uh, we got our limit of specs and then some. I use big plastics only, really. Um, I couldn't get them on the hard baits for the top water, man. Even early in the morning, they weren't biting that stuff. As soon as I switched over to plastics, lead heads, I worked for the drops and the oysters, boom, we got them. So uh, we got them on my five inch paddle tails, peanut shads. So I picked one fish, moved. One fish here, one fish there. That being said, uh, good day of spec fish and good quality fish. There's gonna be affiliate links in the video's description what we use. Uh, yeah, definitely we had some decent quality fish. I think uh, this might end up being a good year for specs. I like that cooler. 
my first fancy cooler, you know? Um, but anyway, <laughs> I just need to put lots of stickers on it. Anyway, uh, PDL one month later, great kayak. Uh, can't complain about it. So, not a bad day in the back. So, I'll catch up with you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed it.